You know, in, in one of the attacks, in, in, I think the only attack interview, he, he speaks on you and how you mentored him and stuff like that. How did you meet him and how did that unfold? Um, yeah, attack is a lot like a close friend. Obviously, he's like family to me. And uh, we met, um, I think, pr in a pretty natural way. Mm -hmm. He was kind of like a younger version of, of myself to some degree, very eager and like hungry for information. And... Uh, kind of like Buffalo is such a small city that like when you cross paths, like you're able to make those connections. So, so I'm not exactly sure how we met. I'm sure he remembers, um, because he's like sharp as a whip, but like, um, but yeah, like I, uh, I've been really fortunate to watch his career flourish and like him and her are like two of like my favorite writers and two of my favorites too. Yeah. It's and I'm attack. lucky. It's you know? just throwy as yo. It's insane. I mean, these kids really honed in their craft. They're they're so focused on like their tr their work, and they're so knowledgeable about like their influences. It's yeah. just really impressive. They're like, really sharp, man. Their their yeah. graph is very unique, very sharp. And um, just I remember I was driving from uh, somewhere like on a highway. I was not in New York, and um, I had like a stomach ache, and I'm like, yo. So I stopped by uh, a random rest stop to use the bathroom. And I'm like in the stall and I'm like literally dying. And I look oh over my to my God. left and there's the illest attack scribe. And yeah. I look at it and like the haze of me dying. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, this is ill. And then I just like, I, I looked at it and now every time I walk into a stall in my mind, I'm like, there's going to be, there's going to be Dude, there. Dude, he's a scribe king. Bro, I mean, for real, like he's a, he's like a, he's traveled the country like countless times. I mean. Yeah. He's so driven, and so and I'm so impressed with like uh, the dedication. Um, but yeah, I, I knew exactly what you were gonna say. I mean, you can go into any rest yeah. stop from here to Seattle, and you're gonna see an attack. The, the his style <laughs> with the sharp A, yeah, it's like yeah, so, yeah. nobody does. Nobody does yeah, that. It's very unique. Yeah, yeah, he he really developed his own thing, and actually, I think that is the beauty of Buffalo because, like we said, the, there wasn't necessarily like a super rich history, other than the small pocket of writers who we like. Mm -hmm who we admire to this day. Um, so I think like Attack, just he really ran with, uh, with, with his uh, feelings and just, and just developed this really special, like cool yeah. like thing, you know? But they go hard in Buffalo if you get caught, right? I remember seeing some story a minute ago on Hertz uh, Graham about him getting booked or something really deep, something crazy that they went in. Was that in Buffalo? Um, actually, he... Yeah, he his story is phenomenal. I mean, you guys should contact him actually yeah, and do it and do a talk with him because he has a lot to say. Um, I don't want to say too much about it because okay. I don't know the ins and outs. Um, but like, yeah, he got in trouble and he's been dealing with the legal system um, to this day. Um, he uh, it's really unfortunate, um, and I'm not sure how it all happened for him but it wasn't in buffalo he got he got in trouble in pittsburgh mm. in pennsylvania and they made basically made an example of him and uh yeah it, it, i mean he's been he's been dealing with this for quite some time now and it's really a phenomenal story mm. and i think he needs to tell it on a larger scale so that you guys can like spread the word because it is about like you know basic rights and like yeah. kind of awareness of like you know, it really is, uh, would you say, poignant to, like, the current situation, mm -hmm. uh, the fact that, like, you know, we're dealing with this, like, battle with, like, law enforcement yes. and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, you'll, when you guys get the chance, I'll put you in touch. I'm sure he would love to share his story mm -hmm. because he needs support. And uh, and I really care for him. And it, it, Yeah, the people got to unite, crazy. bro. The people yeah. got to, like... You know, there's probably he, he that dude at least has like a lot of people who are gassed on his stuff. They could have, if everyone just donates even just two dollars if he has legal issues or something. If there's like, you know, 10,000 people, that's twenty thousand dollars. It could be a big difference with just each little each individual doing their doing their ver a very small portion of, of what they may have.